Hi guys, Tape James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get an Amiga emulator for your PS Vita. So what you guys want to do in order to get this is just open up Vita Shell. And now once Vita Shell loads, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're over on your computer, I will leave a link to the Amiga emulator in the description. And this is actually the latest one you can get. So this is actually a modded version and it was released 13 days ago. So all you want to do is click the VPK and that will begin downloading. Now if you stay on the GitHub page and just scroll down, you can actually find the notes. So you must have the BIOS for this to work. Now the BIOS files are all kick ROMs. You can find these on the internet. All you need is just these three. So kick ROM 13, uh, 20 and 31. I've already downloaded them. You guys can get these very easily. You will also need an Amiga emulator game. Um, you can actually get these on MU Paradise. They're still up on there. And there's a few other notes as well. So you can read about the speed. And um, this also has multiplayer that works. And you guys can read everything about it if you're interested. But once you have downloaded the VPK, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder. So here are my kick ROMs which I downloaded. So what you want to do guys is right click and create a new folder and call it UAE for all. Now inside of this folder you want to create two more folders. You want to create one called ROMs, right click, new folder, call it ROMs and then do exactly the same thing for kickstarts. Now once you've got these three folders you want to get all your kickstart ROMs and just drag them in there. Now drag all your kick ROMs into the kickstart folder. Now back on your downloads folder you want to get a game. I got Mortal Kombat. This is exactly what it looks like. It should be in parts because this uses um, various discs and they should have the extension ADF at the end. So I'm going to select all these, right click and copy, go back to my downloads folder, go inside the UAE for all folder and paste these inside of the ROM section. Now back to the downloads, we also have the VPK right here. But firstly, get the UAE for all folder and you want to put that inside of your PS Vita's data folder. And then just get the VPK file and just put that on the root of your PS Vita. So that is now it for the PC. Once you've copied across all the ROMs and the emulator itself, you can now go back onto your PS Vita and I will show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so back on your PS Vita, we can now install the emulator VPK, so just go onto your UXO or wherever you put the VPK file, just find it, here is mine, UAE for all VPK version 1.70, so just press X on it, press X again and it will begin installing. Now once it has finished installing, you can now completely close out of Vita Shell and just look for the app on your home screen, so here is mine. UAE for all 2, it's got number 2 at the end just because this is the latest modded version so just press X on it and then press X to start. Now it's just going to look like this, this is what the menu looks like, we can just press X and now it's going to let us select our game, so I've got Mortal Kombat, I'm going to select that and I'm going to press X on disc 1. So as you can see Mortal Kombat is now selected and now we can press start. Now sometimes they take longer than others, that other game I've got, I was testing it and it actually took longer to load, it seems like Mortal Kombat's loading a bit faster, but just give them maybe like a minute to load and then you should be good. So all of the controls are on the GitHub as well if you want to look at all of them, um, I'll just be using the basic controls, um, left and right is basically like mouse clicks, so if you do right, that's a right mouse click, so as you can see you can click and then the emulator uh, should just start up. Also, if you press the start button, it actually brings up the Amiga keyboard, which is pretty cool, so you can input text and stuff like that. Now, the emulation is actually pretty good, and there is a pretty good selection um, of classic games to play from. Um, I would play the sound. Um, actually, let's just turn it up a bit, and then you guys can hear it. Here's the sound um, working perfectly fine. Yeah, I don't think it lags or anything like that, and the gameplay is pretty smooth. Um, the PS Vita can handle the Amiga um, really well. Now if you guys ever encounter this sort of screen where it wants you to swap out a disc, what you'd do is just press select, 
Now press X on the top on DFO and then select the disc it asks you for. So this one's asking me for disc 3, so I'd press X on disc 3 and then just press start. And then just press X again. And then the game uh, should just load up. So that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.